Hello there, YouTube. It's Roy B3, back to another kicking unboxing video. Today we're unboxing something uh, that I haven't really unboxed before. It's from Wondrous One Shots. You see, you got this really cool reusable box. They ship it in, nice dragon. It was just wrapped in plastic by Dungeon in a Box. Pretty cool. Uh, you can get this at wondrousoneshots.com. Not sponsored. I did pay for it. Uh, I saw an ad and uh, it hooked me. You guys know. Oop. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> I don't need you guys seeing my, uh, oh wait, my address isn't on here. It's my P.O. Box. <laughs> right, I have a P.O. Box. Anyways, this is Lost Lands of the Lizard Tyrant from Dungeon in a Box featuring skinny minis, which are pretty cool. These will be my first skinny minis. Ooh, yeah. There are... Oh, Father, the Skinny Mini bases. You just shove them right in there. Easy peasy. Oh, God. Here we have, from Wondrous One Shots, Lost Lands of the Lizard Tyrant. Pretty cool. Got a map with it. Let's, uh, does it have a... It does, right here. Yeah, you suckable little tit. Come on. Open the fuck up. <laughs> this is very cool. You guys know I'm a sucker for dinosaurs. I want all that dinosaur D&D shit. This is 5E. Wondrous One Shot's got a big feathery boy. Yeah, I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to pass this off to Big Boy Chungus. We are going to play it and recap our campaign for it and review it on the Tabletop Recap Podcast. Yeah, links in the link tree in the description. All right, let's check this out. Brace for impact. Your party crash lands on a remote island filled with danger, especially the alpha predator stalking them and the other survivors. Will they survive long enough to escape the lost lands or fall prey to its deadly monarch? This wondrous one-shot is intended to be played as a standalone adventure compatible with 5e. Use the adventure maps included in your box to run the encounters presented in this one-shot. Nice. Just a fun little one twat. Fuck, one shot. Here's our big boy map. I think it's double sided. It is double sided. So here's like a big old bone filled cave with lava and shit. And then the other side is a big old jungle with theropod footprints. Really cool. Digging that. Toss. And then here we have our minis. We have a few very inaccurate spinosaurs. As you can see, uh, it's not just the same thing on each side. It's the front and back of the character, which is pretty cool. There. And then we got what I'm sure is supposed to be a Velociraptor. And then Dilophosaurus, which looks more accurate than a Jurassic Park one, you gotta admit. Not that I mind. That's pretty cool. I really like that. So three Spinos, two Dilophos, and a Velasa. That's Dinosaur Predators 1 and 2. Oh. Come on. Slip on out of that box. Here we have Lost Lands of the Lizard Tyrant mounts. So these are mounts that your characters can... Uh, fly around on. You see you get the wings you put into the side of the pterosaurs. Got some different ones. Pteranodon and then whatever that one is. I can't know every prehistoric creature, alright? I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> Just kidding, my dad doesn't give a shit. Pretty cool. Top of the wings. Inside of the wings. Yeah, and they're made for skinny minis, so it's the... But I guess you could just kind of sit anyone on top of the wings. I don't know. We'll have to put them together to see. Maybe we should do that. Put one together. Pretty cool. And then here we go. Yeah, Dinosaur Predators. Two of two. It looks like another Velosa. Another Dilopho. Another Velosa. And two more Dilophos. And then that's the big boy. That's our Tyrannosaur. Uh, I really love that design. It looks really good. I don't never understand people who say feathers make something 
not scary. Have you ever, have you ever seen an emu? Those puppies are mean. They will bite your head off and they are covered in feathers. <laughs> I used to have an emu. Long story. It was only for a few days, but uh, that thing was a monster, an actual monster. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's likely the big boss right there. Very cool. Very cool. And I like how even the ones that are the same dinosaur all have different colorations. That's a nice touch. They didn't have to do that, but they did. Like, that. that's a really nice touch. Honestly. That's cool. So, yeah, that's that Skinny Minis box. Once again, if you want to uh, hear our review of this one-shot when we eventually play it, we got to get through Waterdeep Dragon Heist first. And I'm not going to be completely honest. I think our current schedule for 5e is finish Waterdeep Dragon Heist. And then I think we're going to play, what was it? Uh, I Am Your World from the Gallant Goblin. I think that's next. And then we're going to go into either Storm King Thunder or Tomb of Annihilation. I think I'm personally leaning more towards Tomb of Annihilation. Not sure. And then I think we're going to play Skullcano Island, which is kind of like a... King Kong pulp adventure. Not sure if this will fit in anywhere in there, but it would actually go great with that lineup because <laughs> Tomb of Annihilation and uh, Skokano Island would fit very... This would just slide so easily into a campaign with those two in it. So that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. This is definitely worth the money. It was like $30 shipped. And honestly, uh, it seems like it was worth that without knowing how good the campaign is. I'm pretty confident saying that. Skinny minis seem to be pretty high quality. I'm not going to lie. They're fronts and backs of the characters. It's not just double-sided art where it's the same art on both sides. It's fronts and backs, different colors, even if you have the same creature like that's genuinely interesting and really cool and they just released big xls and stuff you can get an unlicensed tiamat <laughs> and etc so definitely check it out that's it thank you once again for your support subscribe to the tabletop recap podcast and i'll see you all next time